learned a number of lessons in the two years since Irene hit Connecticut. News 8's Aaron Cox Smith today in Bridgeport to see how that storm helped the city prepare for others. Noelle Ramos easily recalls leaving her mother's house with a newborn baby, returning to find a flooded basement courtesy of Tropical Storm Irene. The water literally like covered everything here. Once they went inside the house, nothing happened to the inside of the house. But when they went to the basement, it was literally like above their knees. Irene did serious damage in Bridgeport, flooding homes and Seaside Park. The surge sending salt water into homes along Milford's coast as well, and then hitting Cozy Beach and East Haven hard. Houses pushed off foundations, literally floating out to sea. I sat down with Bridgeport Mayor Bill Finch. He tells me Irene helped prepare the city for the next one named Sandy and whoever hits next. We do know now that these storms are going to keep happening and probably get worse. Here in Bridgeport, officials are relying on citizens to volunteer and help their neighbors when the next big one hits. We've trained 59 people so far, and they'll help us run the shelters. They'll help us get the word out in impacted areas. They'll help us evacuate people. They'll be our eyes and ears in the city during the disaster. Noelle worries another big one will wipe out the house. The weather doesn't get any worse because the, the condition of the house, one day we will come and half of it will probably gone. In Bridgeport, I'm Erin Cox, News 8.